the next one is privacy policy so as a company we collect our confidential data from the employees or contractors so these are PIIs or we call it as personally identifiable information and securing this is a top priority of a company so this policy outlines that what are the steps taken so when we collect a PII how we process store and how we can transfer it to some other department so as we are dealing with Malaysian based entity we follow something called as Malaysian PDPA or Personal Data Protection Act so it was in 2010 so there may be some amendments so this policy applies to anyone employed or conducting business for Juristec including all employees, management, third parties and these are the roles and responsibilities we do have some uh, one more role here which is data privacy officer so if your company has data privacy officer then you need to include that officer here also and that policy uh, that officer can review and audit this policy scope so this applies to all departments employees contractors and third party providers so any form of PII so like name address uh, social security numbers in Malaysia we have this MyCat driving license and passport numbers financial information biometric data so these are all PIIs okay now collection of PII so it should be collected with the consent of individual so we need to inform that user that you are collecting we are collecting this data for this purpose and these are all the steps we follow what we are these are the same as of GDPR we have purpose limitation we should inform what's the purpose uh, of collecting this uh, collecting these PIIs it should be with the consent of the individual we should collect as minimal data as possible and what is required uh, it should be securely stored and uh, notice individuals shall be notified about the PII that are collected also if they ask for deletion once they leave the company uh, then as for the policies or the company requirements uh, we may have to delete it so processing of PIIs so the first control is access control only authorized person can access PIIs example could be a HR department employee a HR department employee can access person resume under that they have all the PIIs available like person name contact number address it should not be disclosed to any other department until and unless required so confidentiality uh, accuracy PI should be accurate complete and up-to-date retention and integrity storage of PII so it should be encrypted and stored for both data at rest so if you are storing at some hard disk it should be encrypted and in transit in transit we use uh, HTTPS so it will be encrypted access control backup so regular backup should be taken for this PII so if you are storing at some server then we should have some other server as a backup for the storage physical security uh, this is important factor uh, physical access to the stored PII should be only for specific individuals so we use uh, security measures such as locks ac access control and only that uh, department related employee will go there so we have this uh, asset scoring so we have a physical area so if you see here we have a sensitive area too here we have a chart department with all uh, sensitive physical documents so the document here would be uh, example say the details of the uh, employees who are interviewed so it contains maybe the financial information so all this should be uh, present in a sensitive uh, a physical it's a sensitive physical document and that's why this portion this physical area is critical here for our SOP 2 
and hence there should be some kind of physical security access measure taken so that only authorized employees, example HR employees, can access that area. Logging and monitoring, so uh, all the logs and monitors should be maintained. Incident management, so if there is any uh, security incident uh, in involving PII, and this is the procedure, report this incident, so it to be, you may report it to security or HR department, then a relative, uh, uh, respective uh, team would investigate and notify affected individual and they implement remedial actions. So PII protection, so it would be by design and by default. So uh, every PII that we collect, it should be secure by design. Privacy impact assessments. So this should be conducted on for all new projects, systems uh, that involve the collection, processing or storage of uh, PII's. Uh, third, uh, third party service providers. So anyone who handles uh, a PII of customer or jurist or any of the company internal uh, company internal employee data. So on behalf of uh, any company, then it should require to comply with this policy. We do have a vendor management policy that we discussed, and apart from that. Uh, other things in this policy are generic, like employee training and awareness. So every employee should be given training. Employee and vendors should be given training on this document. And a refresher training should be done at least once a year. Compliance and monitoring. This would be the escalation metrics. Policy exception. If some of the employee or vendor needs an exception from this policy, then they can follow this document. Here it have all the approval process and the policy exception form. For policy reviews and updates, it uh, should be at least reviewed once in a year. So that's it on to uh, privacy policy. So if you have any feedbacks on this privacy policy, do comment below. Thank you.